Most people, including defense industry experts, have only known about the existence of Area 6 for a few years. Specifically, when a photograph taken from a satellite in 2016 put the Nevada Desert location in the spotlight. Even though the facility has existed for decades, it was only when internet sleuths spotted the cryptic airbase in the middle of nowhere that the world's eyes turned to it and whatever military projects take place inside. Several experts have tried to make sense of the few explanations that public figures have offered about the mysterious airstrip, but it is believed that the base has held the most secretive government projects for decades. One day in 1982, President Ronald Reagan was notified of a top secret that posed a considerable risk to national security. Inside Area 6, a live nuclear bomb was being carefully lowered when, out of nowhere, a group of armed combatants suddenly stormed in. Hiding in plain sight. In early 2016, a strange finding puzzled internet users. It was a mysterious airstrip in the middle of the Nevada desert, located on land controlled by the National Nuclear Security Administration, or NNSA. Overshadowed by the infamous Area 51, only 12 miles away, the secretive base was not even known among defense industry experts. The unusual government facility, reportedly built in 2005, is located between the city of Las Vegas and the desertic landscape, pockmarked by several nuclear detonations back in the day. One building, the Device Assembly Facility, or DAF, was initially built to consolidate nuclear explosives assembly operations, and the dirt landing strip has existed since the early days of the atomic era in the 1950s. In fact, the so-called Area 6 has held a total of six detonations in its history of military trials. As satellite imagery has become widespread, the enigmatic facility has been easily distinguished from Google Earth for some time. The unnamed construction is now known as the Yucca Flat test site, and the images have caused as much intrigue as that associated with its neighbor. Like Area 51, the facility is fenced off. Though it can be seen from the road by tourists visiting the surroundings of the Nevada National Security side of Yucca Flat, that want to learn about the hundreds of nuclear tests that took place there at some point. The disclosed location also features a handful of baffling hangars, but their purpose is unclear. Clustered at the southern end of the airstrip, the hangars showcase imposing clamshell doors that hide top-secret projects the military is working on in the new millennium. Get a clue. Not much is known about Area 6. Admittedly, not many people even know about its existence. As seen from above, the complex includes the main hangar and four smaller outbuildings, all apparently connected by a covered walkway. Rounding out the site are two smaller and more modern hangars, as well as an older one dating back to the atomic testing days. The control point, or the communication hub, used to be where controllers triggered and monitored the nuclear tests. However, the most intriguing part of the complex is the inexplicable airstrip, an asphalt runway built on top of the original dirt landing strip, stretching for a whole mile across Yucca Flat. For decades, the lonely runway was overshadowed by the world's most famous secret airbase a dozen miles northeast. Even so, the very existence of Area 51 was only recently officially acknowledged after decades of speculation and conspiracy theories. Unlike that popular secret base, which is protected by strict security and shielded by mountain ranges, the smaller and newer site only has fences and visitor checkpoints to protect it. Nevertheless, exactly what goes on inside remains classified. After months of fending off questions about the site, Darwin Morgan, the National Nuclear Security Administration spokesman, shed some light on the Classified Defense Research and Development Program. He explained that the low-key facilities have been used by two government agencies, namely Defense and Homeland Security, and added that, quote, they come here to test their own sensors. Such sensors are apparently developed to detect explosive materials, 
lethal gases and chemicals, in addition to radioactive sources that could be employed in so-called dirty bombs. However, as Popular Mechanics put it, Area 6 is a quote, mysterious airfield with plenty of hangars but no visible airplanes. Under control. Despite the official reticence to reveal any compromising details about the site, some information has found its way into the public arena. There's a brief paragraph inside a 7,500-page tome on nuclear safety at the Yucca Mountains Nuclear Waste Project, describing Area 6 as a, quote, aerial operations facility. Moreover, according to a document filed by the giant multinational engineering corporation Bechtel SAIC in 2008, which built the airstrip for $9.6 million, quote, the purpose of this facility is to construct, operate, and test a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles. Tests include, but are not limited to, airframe modifications, sensor operation, and onboard computer development. A small manned chase plane is used to track the unmanned aerial vehicles. As Morgan stated, agencies in the Strategic Partnership Program benefit immensely from the secretive conditions of the location. For one, they are able to take advantage of the security site's restricted airspace and test sensor-equipped aircraft far away from public interference or even the space. The spokesman emphasized, quote, We have controlled airspace, and that gives them opportunities to test various types of platforms. Tracing the money back to strategic partners, a significant part comes from Defense Department branches, namely the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Curiously, Biological weapon sources are not allowed at the site, as noted in its environmental impact statement. However, portable radiation monitors and some sensors used in airports and ports of entry have apparently evolved from the program. Morgan added, quote, We do a wide variety of work for others, supporting people with sensor development activities. It evolved from the nuclear testing program. We had to have very good sensors to collect data in a split second before they were obliterated. Just deserts. Back in the 1980s, the US military was busy developing technologies to face the Soviet threat. But when Area 6 was invaded by armed combatants in 1982, it raised an alert about national security, although it turned out to be an improperly scheduled drill. The invaders were part of a security team conducting a training exercise that nonetheless alarmed the authorities. The enemies have evolved throughout the decades, but the threats to national and global security remain to this day. However, the projects inside Area 6 are more concerned with drone technology than atomic weapons. According to John Pike, director of the Virginia-based defense information website Global Security, the length of the runway suggests it is used for small planes or remotely piloted aircraft, such as Predator and Reaper reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicles. In particular, as imagery analyst Tim Brown estimated, the hangar could house roughly 15 MQ-9 Reapers for remote spying operations. It is said that the drones could be used for surveillance in sparsely populated areas, and considering the site is located in high desert terrain, it is possible that they operate in countries such as Libya, keeping evildoers at bay. The new technologies use more than 350 smartphone cameras mounted on drones and can record movements over an area of about 40 square miles. Such technologies have been developed under the Argus program, which stands for Autonomous Real-Time Ground Ubiquitous Surveillance. Improving Argus and similar sensors might be just what Area 6 is being used for. And like Pike asserted, quote, the thing you get with Argus is time-lapse photography. If there's a rock out there that's moving, maybe that's a rock you ought to be paying attention to. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to Dark Footage and check out the rest of our Dark Documentaries channels, where we go over many more fascinating moments in military history. Also, don't hesitate to leave us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell to be aware of our newest content. Stay tuned.